Now, I'm very impressed with uh, your role here. I had to go back and say, wait a minute, you know, what role did he have? <laughs> I'm like, that role, you know, wow. to be with Matthew and Anne. Um, how was that working with them? Um, it, it was beautiful because um, they are sweet, sweet, warm people, you know. My first weekend in LA, I didn't have my family with me. They weren't able to join me for a few weeks because of schooling and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and Anne caught wind of this, and she said, um, "She said, you know, you know, no pressure, but I don't want you to be on your own in this city, you mm -hmm. know. So if you if you want, I'm going to be here on the weekend with my husband and a couple of friends. Wow. Come and join us and." Yeah, and um, that's that's just good people, you know. That's that's all that is. Um, Did you spend a lot of time with them on the set for your role? For yeah, your scenes? yeah, 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 yeah. We did. Yeah, we 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 laughed a lot, and we we got bored together, and we ate together, and um, yeah, it was uh, it was great from from a hanging out point of view. But then also. Uh, from a an educational my next question yeah. point of view you know th these guys are um there's no two ways about it they're superstars you know so you you see them i see them like a lot of people on my screens and various magazines and whatever but then to see them at work um i think it's fair to say it's true of any any successful uh person there is a work ethic and a tenacity and an approach that is that is the same whether you're in business, whether you're in sport, whether you're in acting, whether you're in directing, whether you're in cinematography, it's the same. Um, and they have that. They have that about them, and it's it's invigorating to be around. I know with uh, Matthew, he is such a great actor. I was telling someone, there's a scene where he just jumps off the truck. It was just the way he jumped off the truck. Uh, I was about to clap just because he jumped <laughs> off the truck. It was so awesome. So were you... Was that the sort of harvester bit? You yeah, uh -huh. And then kicks the tire. Yeah. <laughs> so it was just the way he jumped off yeah, the yeah, truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's all... Yeah, I... I clock that bit as well, and I think, and I, and I'm trying to think, is that you know, because he sort of kicks the tire, and then the tire, and then the truck moves. And I wondered if that was in the script or whether that was sort of a safety thing, or that was just him kind of yeah. doing his authoritative like, gonna make this yeah, all happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's amazing. Yes. So did, during the um, filming with Anne and Matthew, mm. did you learn uh, anything about your craft? that you didn't know before did you i had a lot um a lot um affirmed you see the, mm. the thing is being um i i i, I learned a lot about my craft at university and on stages and you know actor friends of mine that have been doing it 40 50 years wow and knowing how to tread the boards and know, you know knowing how to erect characters i've spent a lot of time watching these kind of guys um and it's the same it's the same in hollywood it's the same in a fringe theater in london as i'm sure it is in the you know off broadway and broadway mm -hmm. theater. it's it's the same thing um so it was lovely to see that that it continues and, and obviously I'd had my Cloud Atlas experience and mm -hmm. um, worked with Tom Hanks and Halle Berry and the same DNA yeah as to the National wow. Theatre to wherever I so, can see that um, yeah it's uh, you learn you, you it's enc encouraging that you know one you're now in the same you know, in the same playground as these people that you've yeah. grown up watching yeah. and learning from and and to that yeah that's 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 what I thought that's the theory that I held and and so um I'll carry on holding that and carry on pursuing that you know. great great 
So um, the role that you had to play um, um, what was something about the role or the characteristics of the role that you played that you had to work through or was it an easy role or? Oh, uh, he's, he's, well you can see he's very different to, to me, he's very different to the way I look, he's very different to yeah. the, the things that I'm passionate about in life, he's very different so uh, I guess stage one was to take all the passion I have about things and say what if those things changed to this mm. um, and I think with Romley he invests so much in in um, in one aspect of human life um, and I think with him uh, possibly more so than any other character that, that you see the I think we all we all have an element of sacrifice and an element of loss. Mm. Every individual character within it has that. And Romilly's, in a way, I feel like is you know he invested so much into one thing, and only having all his eggs in that basket, mm. we see the effect yeah. of, of of missing out on other say. aspects of of life. Yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. So um, the concept of the film, the mm -hmm. time, the black hole, um, I just I, I'm, was very interested in that part of the film. Yeah. What, are you, what were your thoughts on all those ideas before the film and what are your thoughts now? Well before the film you sort of hear it in science fiction and you know um, I kind of a bit like when I read the script, I really reacted well and was attracted to the heart and the love and the emotion in the piece. It um, wasn't, um, you know, necessarily the black hole-ness of it. Mm -hmm. um, so my thoughts were, oh yeah, I know, they, apparently these things exist and they talk about them. It's a little bit weird when I watch Star Trek and they do that and they jump, but <laughs> uh, apparently some scientists are saying that that's possible, that's interesting. And so then you get a script like this and then suddenly you are like, whoa, okay there are actually equations that suggest that this is possible and having to to uh, explain some of those equations um, within the piece uh, you know it, it yeah there are people out there that pray there are people out there that worship and uh, that feel that they experience things on different dimensions and if you were to do if you were to break that down and do an equation and do do the science of it, like mm -hmm. being in a different space but affecting a different place, um, this could possibly be the science of that which interests me. You know, yeah. because um, a lot of people are moved by that, by by prayer, by worship, um, and they say something else is happening, something else is going on. And, and something here in this more powerful than that. Something more powerful, and in this movie, you, you know, it it sort of it may be more accepting for people because we go we we put it under the umbrella of science, so people go, oh okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, <laughs> yeah. So that um, that yeah, it fascinates me. How the two can work together, yeah. And uh, last question, because um, yeah. I deal with a lot of up and coming artists. Mm. and uh, just from what you said seems you've had a long history as an actor what mm. would you tell the young people just getting into it uh, getting frustrated and what would you tell them um, I would uh, I, I did an experiment recently where I th thought of myself in five years mm -hmm. if everything that I wanted to happen ha happened and the the dream was fulfilled and the house and the, you know, paying off my parents' mortgage and all of that was was done. Now imagine that and what would that five year older David say to this five year younger David? Um, and uh, the second time I've done it, the first time I did it, it was keep calm and the second time was believe. Yeah. So that's what I'd say. Awesome. Great way to end it. Thank uh, you so much.